The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your host. And we come to you at this time, no matter where you're at, just be here at this time. How did I know that that wasn't going to do what I thought it was going to do? Well, because uh, I had to take my computer apart this morning and clean all the dust out of it. And when I did it, of course, literally everything changed. We got uh, I thought we got all of them, but I forgot to get that one. So it doesn't matter what time it is, as long as you are here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So we've got a market uh, considerably down, mostly the NASDAQ, um, almost double the S&P. The uh, Dow uh, kind of looking the best of the bunch out here down uh, 222, which is just uh, six-tenths of a percent. Uh, Russell's down 2.2 percent. We've got uh, some other stuff. Crude's off 28 cents. Uh, gold, all that glitters is gold, up uh, 23 bucks on the day. And, well, we've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, the best explanation I've heard so far, because I don't believe in coincidences. So when FINRA didn't have uh, the uh, short data uh, last night or this morning on their website, I started scratching my head because generally... Uh, it doesn't matter who it is, if it's uh, Yahoo Finance or Big Charts or all those kind of stuff. Suddenly, everything goes out, and it's never a coincidence, it seems. Um, so I thought, okay, either everybody's extremely short or nobody was short. But I didn't know until about 1.15, 1 1.30 today. Uh, when they finally put it up, and the answer was no one was short. <laughs> so I have a feeling that a lot of folks decided uh, that there were uh, uh, a, a lot of money to be made going after uh, highly leveraged positions. I think it was a week or 10 days ago uh, that uh, I said something about Kathy Woods uh, and uh, Nassim Tlaib, Fooled by Randomness, uh, an excellent book one that every treater should read. His uh, approaches might vary from mine because he's got $4 billion uh, that he manages. I don't have quite that much, just $3.9 billion. So um, that's kind of it. Uh, hang on a second here. Uh, Tech Insider subscriber. Uh, well, you should read the Tech Insider because I just sent it out not too long ago. There should be a bunch of stuff, Todd. So we'll answer that question from Todd um, about uh, stuff that I'm looking at. Uh, so anyway, the uh, – uh, oh, getting back to my thought process. Um, it seemed to me even – seven, ten days ago, that there wasn't somebody uh, that he was talking about in his book any more than Kathy Woods at ARK Investments. Uh, if you missed the book, I'll give you the cliff notes here. That is that he talked about a variety of traders, ones that just kept doubling down. A lot of his book, of course, came right after uh, capital uh, or long-term capital investments. In fact, I was talking to somebody that was making a model of the market, and I'm talking to him, and he says, I'm actually emailing him back and forth. And I said, really, the problem you have and why the stuff you have is not going to work literally at all, no matter how good your programming skills are, is you don't understand how the market actually works. And he was just going, well, I, you haven't done anything. You didn't give me any code. 
said, I don't have to give you any code. I said, there's a book. You can probably get it for free at the library if you want. It's called Fooled by Randomness. And he talks about uh, big wheeling type Wall Street folks uh, and kind of a tale of two cities. Uh, one just keeps doubling down and doubling down until they all blow up. But uh, that would be kind of it. Um, eh, you never know. Uh, okay. Anyway. Uh, Kathy Woods um, just literally uh, ripped out of the pages of his book from 2003, which was really a treatise on long-term capital management and the stuff blowing up right after 2000. Um, we talked about the most important chart that anybody could look at, what, eight days ago? I think it was last a week ago, Tuesday. Uh, and I said, you got to know where you're at in the market. Um, doesn't mean that you're not going to have very good times, even in a bear market. Uh, and you're going to find lows. But the important part is that uh, it, the markets uh, were frothy. Uh, it was very hard for me to buy anything uh, that was long and hold it for more than a day. Uh, we had the SMH uh, calls uh, Wednesday and made a, uh, a quick 110% uh, on them or more. Uh, today, I've got uh, uh, options positions, too. And as I said, probably the thing, if you don't want to lose a lot of money, uh, probably is to be uh, playing options. They're fairly cheap. Well, not so much anymore. Everybody's expecting the market to bounce, at least if you look at the UVXY, where the $25 calls for the 17th, or I mean the $25 puts for the 17th of this month, are five dollars so the things would have to move five bucks before you even break even how many people think that the market is going lower well if they think it's not going any lower or higher then there's a lot of premium to be bled off of those things between now and the 17th but we haven't even gotten to options expiration uh, really starting um, that really starts on Wednesday, the 8th, uh, going into monthly options expiration on the 17th. So um, anyway, uh, heard a lot over the uh, last couple of days about uh, margin calls. Uh, lately today, it's all about um, Robin Hood. And why I heard uh, or talked to one of my subscribers in the den today about it. He says it was uh, he's been over to their chat rooms and they're all getting ready to uh, look for an open window on the 13th floor to jump out of uh, because they're all getting ready to get their first really big margin call. Probably not their first, but probably a big margin call. And if you do it right, you don't get margin calls. Uh, generally, that's done by not going home on margin. But uh, as I said about Kathy Woods, Anybody that's got 35 to 1 margin is going to get wiped out, and it's just a matter of time. The, uh, the good thing is they look very fantastic for a long time. They are the darlings of Wall Street. Eventually, the tide comes in for everybody. It goes out in the case of Warren Buffett. He says uh, you can only tell who's swimming without a bathing suit when the tide goes out. Ugh, she's naked. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. It is always history, more rhyming than repeating. I don't have a slide for today. Uh, on this day in 2001, inventor Dean Kamen uh, unveils the Segway, self-balancing battery-powered vehicle on a TV show. Segway uses computers and monitors in its base to keep itself upright while the user is riding it. Users shift their weight to control the Segway. Why not? Considered a commercial success, the Segway definitely became a familiar icon. Mostly because uh, Paul Blart Mall Cop, but uh, it was a uh, it was a very interesting device and uh, shows uh, a lot about technology. Of course, he ended up selling it uh, to another gentleman in England, I think in 2009 and 2010. And ironically, the guy wrote it off a cliff, and that's why you really don't hear much about Segway today. But uh, certainly an icon of transportation. Okay, uh, we're going to get back to a lot of questions we already have. Uh, Pete's first. Why such large bid-ask spreads in many stocks, liquid stocks uh, options in this morning? And that is because uh, it's a rolling auction. That is, no one really wants uh, to get that bid and ask. If they, want, if they are, they're going to get it. And they're probably going to take the other side of that trade. So let's say that you can lock in instantly some money by just uh, buying or selling a uh, put or call and then taking the other side and going long or short the stock for today since it is Friday and you can get, uh, get weeklies. So to a, a, an extent, if there is that ability and you, and you wait for the, uh, the big windup, a lot of times um, – that's why you get those gigantic, enormous spreads in the options market. But, uh, yeah, both on buyers and sellers, it's been a hard market uh, to get in or get out. Uh, but uh, that's what you get when you get a rolling auction and nobody really buying on the downside, mostly because if they're coming after you, everybody on the street already knows. Um, that's kind of the thing. Always reminds me of uh, Goodfellas, 
uh, when uh, Ray Liotta breaks character in the uh, witness stand and comes out and starts uh, talking uh, in front of the people he's going to be witnessing about uh, in uh, in Goodfellas. He says they never come to you when uh, they never come uh, to you and, and yell and scream. They always come to you with smiles on your face. They don't let you know that you're going to get killed. In fact, they're probably better to you. I think that's out of the book. They're probably better to you uh, right before they're going to whack you uh, than uh, they are on a normal day. So if everybody's being nice to you, uh, kind of watch out. Well, I have a feeling a lot of people knew something. Maybe it's ARK Investments. Maybe it's Robin Hood. Maybe it's a lot of folks. Uh, but my guess is a lot of people uh, kept buying the dips, and this was an inevitable low. Now, um, I don't believe in coincidences and not being able to get uh, the FINRA short data for yesterday was interesting. But uh, either, like I said, either everybody went short or nobody did. And it was very light. Uh, very few people were short. That's generally when you have these big kind of markets where you can't find uh, any buyers uh, because there aren't any natural buyers down here on the way lower. Um, options actually pointed to fairly bullish close today. Doesn't look like we're going to get that. Uh, even if they did, I wasn't a big believer in it. I got into uh, other things, which are both up on the day. In fact, I'm up 25% on one of my uh, one of my options positions. But, uh, you know, you don't always have to be involved. You can go. There's a lot of different areas in the uh, in the uh, market besides uh, playing the equities. And uh, I found something else to do, and I'm making money today on it. Instead of predicting about uh, where this is going to stop, it's going to be probably a lot more like uh, Stuart, uh, Justice Stuart Potter. Uh, what was his name? Stuart Potter? Yeah, that's, I think it was the name, who said, uh, you know what? I don't know what pornography is, but I know it when I see it. And that's generally the way lows come in. You're going to see some kind of rip that makes it happen. But uh, somebody asked me uh, earlier if I thought that uh, the UVXY had peaked. And I said, I suspect it does at the close today. So we'll probably be fairly close to having a kind of a washout. No one likes to go long into a weekend. So you can find a lot of times that buying these Friday blowouts are good. I don't think that there's a need to do so. I'm going to be up uh, uh, Sunday night and Monday morning trying to go after a few of these where I think that there's probably a good opportunity to find some deals. I don't think that you need to get ahead of it, though. I think that uh, the risk reward is a lot better Sunday night or Monday morning at 6 a.m. than it is on Friday on the close. Uh, <laughs> uh, could be. Uh, anyway, um, let's see. Get, we have a few more emails here that we want to get to. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, answer this guy because he got the wrong impression okay okay can you look at the uh, chart below of the CBOE put call ratio looks like it's peaking and of course I do my own every day so why don't we just go to that one uh, which is the put call ratio. Uh, I do it a little bit differently than a lot of folks. Uh, I don't believe you can have over 100%. And a lot of people will talk about put call ratios at 200% and stuff. And you take both sides. That's 100%. And then you divvy it up. But uh, even yesterday, we didn't really have much. Uh, although we did have a lot of people buying uh, uh VIX puts and you went high. Um, it really wasn't the blowout that we had earlier back on the 24th and the 6th. Um, but uh, we'll continue to keep an eye on some of that stuff. Uh, let's see where I'm at here. 
Okay. Eh, he had a little more yesterday in the equity put call, 38%, which is a little higher, but it's not any kind of blowout. Um, the VIX is generally where you see the big swings. Um, but again, not a lot. It wasn't a, uh, it wasn't a huge blowout day uh, for what you would think. If a lot of people were going sh uh, short, we probably have one and a half uh, million options VIX options trading hands, and we didn't. Um, I'll look at his chart during the break, but I don't think he, maybe he's looking at a daily or something. I don't tend to watch that much on dailies, but uh, we will take a look at it when we return. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, uh, as I said, the emailer... Um, when you look at the, P, uh, the uh, put call ratio, I dislike this version of it. Uh, you can have a, a very light volume uh, in uh, put calls and get a big spike, and they're, and they're not significant. Uh, just one of those days where everybody's buying puts or everybody's buying calls, but they're not buying that many of them. And you tend to get those kind of wide spikes 
uh, as you saw back here in the early part of 2000 in his chart. Uh, like I said, I don't like anything that goes over 100%. Uh, one, it tends to exaggerate uh, a lot of regular stuff. And two, if you're actually writing any kind of software model, once it goes past one or 10 or 100, um, there's, it's very hard to scale any of those things uh, for uh, machines. And uh, so I tend to look at it kind of more my way, which is a uh, uh, just a uh, put call ratio. In fact, uh, let's go ahead and pop one up here so you can see. I put it in the uh, newsletter every day. So I look at one that's just uh, a little different. But uh, here it is, the put call. Come on. There we go. So that's mine. Uh, so you can see it. So we did spike a bit yesterday to 60. Generally, that's a good sign of a low coming in. Um, option market makers thought that we had it. So they probably weren't in on the... We're going to route everybody down to uh, whatever it is right now, uh, 4,500. Uh, they all thought 4,600 going into this morning. And I think the jobs numbers kind of changed all that. I think no one was expecting uh, that bad a number, and that was it. Uh, da -da -da. Da -da 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 Uh, anyway, you've got uh, you've got uh, a lot going on here, but anyway, I look at two. Um, the way I look at it, you could could never have a put call ratio more than a hundred percent. And two, I separate it, uh, which I think is much more interesting in the VIX, which is the out of the money puts and calls in the S and P 500 compared to all the equities, which is this blue line below. But that's what's in the newsletter every day that I look at. But uh, like I said, it scales a little bit better. Uh, it doesn't, uh, when I look at 180%, I start really getting uh, my motor running. And generally, that's a bad thing when you're analyzing stocks. You want to you be like the Iceman in, uh, in Top Gun. You want to be cool under pressure. Uh, anyway, uh, interesting chart. Um, thanks for sending it to me. Um, I'm just thinking that uh, we're running the uh, uh, we've got the running of the uh, bulls here today and we'll probably make a significant low by the close and it may even be a blowout into the close. But whatever it is, you're probably looking long come Monday morning if it doesn't turn around even before the end of the day. But uh, I would say this close, you're not getting a lot of people wanting to stick their neck out. Uh, that can't trade fairly quickly. Uh, good uh, call in the den to look at some of the retailers. <laughs> and John in the den says uh, directly from Top Gun, evaluate what has happened so you can apply what you've learned. Uh, that was from Viper and Top Gun. Of course, uh, the last Top Gun movie has been delayed over a year and a half, but uh, it may never come out. I thought it was supposed to come out here any day now, but I think they delayed it yet again. Okay, uh, anyway, uh, Walmart, some of these others actually um, kind of pierced uh, their lows yesterday on volume. Uh, actually having, well, having a, not a bad day out here. Let's take a quick look at uh, TGT. Um, yeah, even that's up a little. Of course, uh, everybody's talking about um, the earnings or the lack of earnings last night. And, of course, uh, the one that uh, is going to get the uh, a double boo and maybe boo-hoo, uh, that is uh, DocuSign. Uh, you got to know that these things were way up there. Um, but... Uh, can you be that wrong? I, I mean, you can, but I'm, I'm thinking that there was something else that I've missed so far today in DocuSign. Um, it was down 25% last night, down 42% now. Uh, it was a great stock when I originally started trading it. 
uh, became a uh, football for the Robin Hooders and others, uh, a uh, lockdown stock. And uh, people are saying, at least on the inside uh, of uh, Wall Street, that it's because there probably won't be another lockdown uh, that uh, it went lower. Um, I think that there's a good business underneath this. Um, I wouldn't long it, nor would I have been long it going into earnings. Um, it's really more of a gamble than a prudent speculation, uh, even in some of the stocks that did well, like Marvel up 17%. Uh, MRVL. Um, the reason I wouldn't have been long Marvel was it had no short sellers in the thing. And that means that if you're wrong, the thing could do a docu sign. Uh, but everybody was wrong about being going lower, uh, and it popped f high. But uh, not a lot of short se uh, sellers in that. But uh, some very good news, and uh, it did fairly good. Uh, let's see what uh, they did yesterday. If everybody shorted them right into going into earnings. Of course, you only get this stuff. Now, like I said, I, I mean, I hadn't seen much of anything. Um, you're going to see some shorting every day, and each stock will have its kind of uh, normal run rate. Uh, the normal run rate for uh, or average run rate for Marvel is about 8%, maybe 75 and, and you had 6 yesterday, 5 the day before, uh, 0.1 back on Friday. So no one was really coming after this stock. Um, so you can't uh, blame that on short sellers getting squeezed. Um, this apparently was just lots of good news on a very bad day. And uh, if you had Marvel, my hat off to you. A uh, tip of the hat, a nod of the head. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yes, we will give it a uh, winner, winner. Okay, and we didn't play the uh, the losing horn for uh, DocuSign. It, it just it just feel like piling on to me, just a little bit too much. Anyway, I'm not a big fan of holding stocks through earnings, even if you have a lot of money made. And DocuSign is a good example. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. back uh we talked about uh marvel and docusign uh we didn't get to uh, other earnings uh ulta as i said uh i don't know a few weeks ago when we were talking about this eh, there it goes um big lines around the ultas down here i drive by the mall and they're always there yeah big range on a bad day but Opened up fairly well. Um, what is that, about uh, 404? Is that, yeah, 404 exactly. So, eh, you know, it depends on what the market's like on Monday. It wasn't a bad day for those guys. Uh, big lots, another earnings call from this morning, up 6%. Uh, again, a lot of the discounters, low-end stores, Dollar General, that kind of stuff, um, have been reporting fairly good earnings. Apparently, these guys did. And again, on a bad day at BlackRock, it's always nice to uh, not be associated with the rest of those folks. Uh, up to what, 47, 48? What do we have here today? 47.75 for the big lots. And I tell you, when I go in the stores, they're a little creepy. But what can you say? They got good deals in there. But it does kind of remind me of the old Kmart's with a, with the uh, acoustic tiling that was yellow, and the, and of course everything had been turned yellow by the fluorescent lights and stuff. But always a mess. In fact, it's not a great shopping experience other than cheap prices and lots of stuff at big lots. But yeah, that's what they are. Not everything has to be a rose. Going to Home Depot. I remember the story on Home Depot. Let's take a quick look at that one. Uh, about uh, when they first opened it up, and it was all done like a uh, uh, like uh, Tiffany's or Saks Fifth Avenue. And uh, the guy that uh, started it came in there and goes, "No, no, 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 no! We got to make this place look like we're on our last dime. That we're getting the best prices in the world." And they went to those orange, uh, those orange painted. Uh, scaffolding kind of shelvings and stuff uh but uh eh, everybody's got a niche blue light specials Ooh, man you have to be old to remember those and a shoe carnival why do i i wonder if that company's still around but uh i went in there one day it's like a party going on but really cheap and crappy shoes didn't understand that either home depot Looking good today. Uh, if you wouldn't look, if you wouldn't have known what was going on in the general market, hey, you wouldn't have probably said much. Holding up at highs, uh, fairly light volume. Let's take a good look at lows. Let's see if there's anything different there. I don't think that there will be. I bet it's the same. Yeah, looks just about the same, doesn't it? Um, eventually, you're probably going to come back to 237, which is support. Um, and you know what? You sell 
the stocks that you can, not the ones that you can't. Uh, on a bad day like this, they make you. Uh, but generally what happens after these bad days um, is, uh, um, uh, you know, the, the worst ones take a few days to, to get over. But uh, a lot of times there's some fairly good deals left out there. Okay, the big question of the day, the burning question, the breakout in the TLT. Uh, the Fed has not stopped pushing cash. Uh, we've been talking about it the last few days. Um, again, probably it's a combination of them pushing cash and people running for cover. I remember why I didn't listen to probably a thing uh, that uh, Joe did, uh, not Joe DiNapoli, Joe uh, I want to say Garagiola, but it's not uh, Joe. God, what's his name in the stock market? Uh, I'll think of it in a minute. No, uh, da, 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 da. no, not Joe DiNapoli. Uh, it was a guy that was predicting doom and gloom. He did it once in 87 and predicted it for the rest of the next 20 years and drove everybody bankrupt. Granville, Joe Granville. He did have, occasionally, even with the people that are always wrong, or consistently wrong, he was right once and then wrong for 20 years uh, about being short, uh, absolutely got slaughtered uh, in, a, in his predictions going into uh, 2000. You got to know that, uh, you know that you will have excesses in the market. Uh, but uh, Joe Granville had this theory called the Titanic theory, and that was... Uh, that uh, when the ship starts going down at the bow, everybody's going to run to the stern. His idea is the equities are always the bow, and treasuries and bonds are the stern. And he says, you know, everybody will run into that, and then they'll run into bonds, and then they run into cash. And, you know, that's the next thing that we're looking for. But uh, I always liked that. It was a good analogy. Uh, but the rest of his stuff was, uh, man, the, the Ebola of trading. Uh, I'm trying to remember if anybody I could remember is, that was wrong as long as him. And it was uh, Joe Battapaglia, who for f almost three and a half years said to buy and literally decided to go short on the day that the market bottomed, I think in 2003 in March, if I'm not mistaken, maybe it was in May. But I just remember him saying that it was, uh, it was, uh, it was uh, the end was nigh, and uh, we were going to zero uh, after being bullish for three years when the market did nothing but go straight down. And uh, eh, I bought that day just on him going short. I thought that there couldn't be a better indicator than uh, Joe Patapaglia. He died of a heart attack shortly after that. But uh, eh. eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. And, of course, you can email me. I think we have a few more coming in. If I can find them here. Da, 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 da. Yep, got more here. Um, <laughs> um, the question is, uh, do we need to have a lot of negative waves? And, uh, hey, we'll send you to the weekend for uh, something that may cheer you up. Because, of course, um, you know, Nothing lasts forever in the market. If it's, things are bad, they'll turn around and go higher. And if things are good, they'll go lower. But uh, there's nobody like Oddball to set you straight. Why don't you knock it off with them negative waves? Why don't you dig how beautiful it is out here? Why don't you say something righteous and hopeful for a change? Always with the negative waves, Moriarty. Always with the negative waves. As I said uh, earlier, I think uh, we're looking for a little positivity next week. And I think, uh, you know, just the kind of washout that you have here on a Friday generally leads to a skittish low where no one can believe that a, a uh, market is bottom. And uh, you may get a handful of days. You may get all the way to Christmas. We'll have to take a look at it. I'm playing in a different pond. It seems to be fine. Uh, and ignoring the market. Uh, check out the newsletter. 
the daily for that. And of course, a lot of buying things in the TI today. We'll be back in a bit. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. <laughs> And as we get back, uh, uh, as we get back to wrapping up the weekend, um, I'm in some stocks that are doing well, actually options. Well, one option, one stock, but they're up on the day. So uh, living, uh, living is easy here, but uh, I avoided the big fight today. Uh, but uh, you know what? I think you probably got enough to burn it out for just at least a little while, if not till Christmas. Um, we need to have we've got it really what is set up is a huge consolidation in this area. Um, much more likely that uh, this burns itself out and restarts maybe on January 1st uh, than anything else. Uh, the Generally, the bad thing about being short, making a lot of money, is you continue to be short. And even in a down market, generally the market's only going down about one-fourth of the time, and it's going up three-fourths of the time. So uh, either you need to have a long time horizon or be able to sit on your hands very easily and see a lot of those uh, gains given back. And a lot of times, given back in a matter of minutes, 
after days of going lower. Uh, so I would say not only sell when you can, but cover when you can. And it depends on what you're at. But uh, I wouldn't get too easy with thinking that markets is going to continue flushing lower. There are going to be, especially in a bear market, rips of biblical proportions. And those are not the ones you want to be short in. So uh, don't, you know, don't be greedy. That's probably the worst part of uh, being in a bear market is you get greedy and you give a lot of it back. Try to keep as much as possible. Have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday. St. Pat, St. Pat time. And uh, yeah, cover when you can. Um. Thank you.